There we go. Okay. All right. Okay. One more time. Hey, everybody. All right. So uh, mailbag uh, starting now. And I uh, just, I forgot to start the recording. So there it is. And by the way, I know there's a few recordings that haven't been uploaded yet. I have uploaded them all to YouTube, but uh, specifically those recordings, we don't usually transcode. So uh, YouTube every now and then they're like, no, I don't understand what you're sending me. And so we have to redo it, which is the case for the ones that are missing. So that'll happen. Uh, but uh, that aside, I don't think there's any uh, big news this week, except uh, we're going to move these kids downstairs probably today. I don't want to make any promises. Uh, again, you know, things are exploding everywhere. I was saying just before we started the recording, uh, um, DJ's cell phone is broken. And so we've had to plot a spare that doesn't work very well. An old one that uh, is falling apart too. Uh, we're going to have to find her a new one, uh, and then we've got all the stuff here to take care of. So uh, lots of things going on, but hopefully I can move these kids downstairs. I've, I've tried to make it easy. I was talking about this this morning uh, live, which is um, my plan is I've got to mop the floor downstairs, and then I want to start by just bringing these kids with the stuff they have now downstairs, not even set up anything particularly new for them. Um, and uh, let them get settled into the room that way. And then uh, we'll figure out exactly kind of what sort of theme we want downstairs and fill up the room with other fun stuff for them and get them exposed to new things. I did put up the wall, the, uh, the climbing wall that's down there is ready to go. Uh, it's probably a little advanced still for these kids, so that's premature, but I didn't want to have to work on it when they were down there. It's very noisy work, as some of you got to hear. Uh, and then uh, what else is news? Oh, obviously you can see mom's wearing a suit for exactly this reason. I want her to stop nursing the kids and she's been very good about, about weaning them and telling them to get back and not to nurse on her, um, but not perfectly good about it. So uh, this is all part of getting her to use the suit. Plus it did turn out that at least so far, wearing the suit has gotten her to be a little less crazy around the other cats or at least to express it a little bit less, which is good. Uh, she's not constantly banging on her door, and um, she's not, you know, sort of um, angry at the cats, the other cats, quite so quickly. So it might be a good opportunity to introduce things before she gets too used to the suit, which we've been working on, too. So that's it for news. There's nothing else going on. You're going to see her wearing the secret agent suit. Um, you're going to uh, see these kids move downstairs. Fingers crossed today. Uh, no promises again. And... Um, yeah, I think that's about it, really. So, uh, so good times. Um, all right, let's let's just uh, let's jump right in. Okay, we got some letters today. Let's see here. Um, nothing on the outside to give this one away. So, we have a letter opener. We certainly do. And it says, "This is Murray. Murray loves to be treated, pampered, and be the center of attention." So on your birthday, eat, drink, and be Murray. Aw, oh, happy birthday, Mr. A. Love, True Blue. True Blue, thank you so much. Murray looks like a big old uh, gray and white. He looks exactly like um, uh, Bamboo is going to look like when she grows up. She's got the same sort of narrow white on his face. Of course, uh, she's got a little more white on her body, but that's still uh, very much her face, I think. Super cute. Thank you so much, True Blue. This one has a tiny lobster drawn on the back, so we all know who this one is from. Oh, and mac and cheese. How about that? And a cat. How did you combine all these things? Uh, I took one of those DNA tests and found out I'm 27% cheese. <laughs> that's cute. You can't buy happiness, but you can buy cheese, and that's pretty darn close. Happy birthday. Aw. Happy birthday, Mr. A, and thank you. Thank you to you and Dr. DJ for all you do. This card reminds me of wonderful custard, so I thought you'd like it too. Love and lobsters. Uh, Maya Basta. Yes, I'm officially being Jamestown, so I don't end up in the sim bin because of the mac and cheese. Yes, that's a, a running thing on our Discord. Uh, Jamestown, who uh, no longer has the uh, access to the craft. Uh, some some people, I think, just call it craft dinner, the craft mac and cheese that uh, we all grew up with as kids. Apparently doesn't exist in the same form overseas. Um, and I think Jamestown really misses that, um, which has been a common thing to talk about. I kind of miss it once in a while, too. It had been a, a staple in, in my childhood, and then I even brought it back for quite a while as an adult. I would make the craft mac and cheese. Uh, and put like some chili powder and stuff in it to sort of elevate it just a tiny bit. But then uh, um, that is a lot of uh, 
pasta to eat all at once. So I've cut that back out of my diet some time ago. I haven't had one in years, but boy, it is just that real unique, that cheese, that craft cheese, uh, the, the, the powder form too. You get the one that doesn't come in a powder. They make it like a fancier one now. Uh, it's not the same. You got to get the other uh, old one with the powdered cheese. It's just probably, frankly, pretty gross to anybody who didn't grow up with it. And is it the, possibly the American Vegemite? Uh, it could be. I don't know. That's what I'm going to go for. Um, let me check my phone real quick. These guys are being so fun over by the door. Let me make sure that that's on a camera. It's kind of on a couple cameras. I'm going to move this one just a bit. Okay, it's still pretty far off, but whatever. Uh, There's only so much we can do. Okay, I think those were only the two letters for today. And uh, I want to separate the cards from the, the wheat from the chaff here. So let's do that. Well, the Queen's Awards. Oh, wow. Um, I don't know exactly how to open this safely. So let's see if we can try carefully. Two. where the tape is. There we go. I got it. Inside. Oh, inside another envelope. All right. It's envelopes all the way down, kids. Hi. And yes, you are so cute. Very plain envelope. Oh, the beautiful card. Oh, my goodness. Wow. It's a, it's a beautiful, like, oil painting of a, a girl at night standing in a field holding a cat, and they're both looking at the moon. It's a beautiful art. My goodness. Who did this? D. Nickerson, apparently. The, by the light of the silvery moon, D. Nickerson. Uh, it is acrylic oil paints on paper. It says, <clears throat> uh, Mr. A and Dr. DJ, love walks on four paws, saw this and thought, saw this card and thought, I think it says charm, uh, and thought of you two, a devoted UK fan, Lynn. Well, Lynn, uh, thank you so much. Maybe uh, charm is whatever is in here still. Oh, it is. Oh, there is a charm in here. How char charming. That's sweet. It is a tiny, uh, well, let's see. It looks like a heart. Uh, I especially love the card, though. Uh, Lynn, thank you. For, oh, somebody else likes the card, too. Oh, it says, Love Walks on Four Paws, and it's a little silver uh, heart. Uh, it's very tiny. It's very cute, and uh, it's very silver. That's beautiful. My goodness. And I think they are uh, two of the same, but I can't quite see. Oh, I guess I can. Okay, they are two of the same. So I need to open the, and that other one, but that's one for me and one for DJ. That's so sweet. Lynn, thank you for thinking of us, too. That is just a, such a sweet thing to say and uh, such a sweet thing to do. <laughs> there you go, buddy. Uh, I want to double check. Yes, Lynn. All right. Lynn uh, in the UK, thank you so much for sending these, and thank you for the lovely card. My goodness, that art. Uh, D. Nickerson. Uh, beautiful. Hmm. Very cute. All right. Well, let's move on. To, well, whatever's next, I guess. Now, these kids are going to take care of all the packaging, so I don't have to worry about that. Aw, this is from Lily Cat's mom, and it's got a drawing of a package on the package, very meta, and the package on the package has a drawing of the Kitten Academy uh, Celebration Cat. You know, I realize we haven't used our special logos in quite a while, but several years ago, there were several made, and one of them has a party hat on, and this one is it with the party hat on. So, let's see. Lily Cat's mom has sent the card. Okay, to read on stream. That's perfect, too. Uh, uh, this is, uh, uh, I, don't, I don't know what they're talking about. It just says, uh, there's two cats, one sitting at the computer and the other sitting uh, down. It says, you get one. Oh, I see. You get one every time you order something online. And the other cat's saying, order lots. And obviously, they're talking about the boxes and the packaging. I should have gotten that because that's exactly what's going on here. That's so cute. You get one every time you order something online. So funny. Um, inside, it says, we hope you get everything you want for your birthday. That's so cute. And two cats sitting in a pile of boxes, the same two cats. They're very cute. Uh, and you've labeled it Logie and Eddie after a monumental mailbag. Yes, it's exactly what it's like. And they do kind of look like Logie and Eddie. Dear Mr. A, Dr. DJ, students and faculty, apologies for my handwriting. 
belated birthday greetings from one November 8th birthday cat servant to another. Wow, the same day. That's amazing. Happy birthday to you. Hope your day was full of spoogles, stroop waffles, time with EJ, and video games, and free of cat poop explosions. Enclosed for you are a few little kitchen-related things from that other well-known KA of the Northeastern U.S., the King Arthur Baking Company. Having seen your cooking projects and the hashtag food, I decided that rather than wreck your diet directly by sending baked goods, I'm sending these very excellent bowl scraper and small spatula. The latter is great for things <laughs> like loosening muffins and cupcakes from pans and also excellent for uh, operating your, oh, oh uh, for uh, spreading your bread topping of choice on bread. I mean, of course, that's where you would spread it. These items also have the distinction of taking a long distance route, Vermont to Connecticut by way of California. Also include, closed are cat dancers for cahoots and your cahooligans. These are a favorite of the cats and kittens at the Edution Center that a local rescue runs in a pet food express store where I volunteer once a week. I am active. Uh, that was, a, I think, uh, I that was, of course, inspired by the wonderful KA community. Furs and Spoogles, Lily Cat's mom, Lily Cat's dad, Twin A, Twin B, Izzy Cat, and our angel cat, Lily. Oh, that's so sweet. I love the card. It's very funny. And you're right. Uh, these cat dancers are a big hit with everybody. They're such a simple twist. Just a piece of wire with some little cardboard twists on it. Big hit. In fact, uh, it remains to this day uh, one of the few toys that Eddie uh, plays with. He just loves them. So a uh, big hit for everybody. So we've got one for Cahoots, one for Hoodwink, one for Hogwash, one for Flim Flam, Mayhem. I love that they're labeled, and one for Bamboozle. Thank you so much for that. Uh, as for King Arthur, um, I don't know how familiar I was with them before moving out here, but I am now. Uh, they post some nice recipes on the site that I have used. So you set a mini wheat stripes towel in red. And it is mini wheat stripes, uh, which sounds like it should be a cereal. Oh, and it says King Arthur Baking Company on it. How cool is that? Um, they're, you know, I remember thinking for some reason that they were a really wonderful company. They must have done something that I, I really approved of. But now all that I remember is the goodwill that I have towards them and not specifically why. Uh, nonetheless, I, I, for some reason uh, that I can't define, I do believe they are a wonderful company. And look, a bowl scraper. Uh, that is a very useful thing. Um, you did mention a little spatula, which seems to have either gone missing, uh, or maybe this is what you meant by a little spatula, because it is that as well. So, uh, that's perfect. I can't imagine using this to spread jam on toast, though, like you say. Um, so, we'll see. Maybe uh, maybe it will turn up. Uh, as a note, we... Um, we do go through all the mailbag stuff twice, uh, once here, and then once again when I go through the recycling once every two weeks and uh, pack this stuff up to be uh, the packaging mostly to be sent out to be recycled, not the things that are sent in it, of course. But uh, during that process, I break down all the boxes. So if anything has gone missing in the past, I, that's how and when it turns up. So nothing to worry about on that front. Maybe not for you, uh, Lily Cat's mom, um, but uh, as a general thing for people to know, I know that there have been times when I left something important, didn't find it in the bottom of a box, or uh, did find it and put it in the wrong box and carried it out with the tr trash, uh, and people are, uh, would freak out and think, oh no, he's going to throw that brand new wonderful thing away. But I, as far as I know, it has not actually happened uh, that anything has been thrown away that shouldn't be. So thank you for the King Arthur stuff. Uh, that is so cool. I actually really like that towel. That's a cool print, and the fact that it's got King Arthur uh, woven in there, super cool. All right. Moving on, kids, here's another thing for you to chew on. Let's see what we have. Uh, Lily Cat's mom again, thank you. Um, let's see. Box 186, that's us. Um, oh, I think this is from Mishi60, but uh, talk about going from a long way away uh, from Poland. I think they ordered something on Etsy for us, perhaps. And uh, that's where it shipped from, perhaps? Aw, it's a Christmas tree. Uh, it's a it's a knit uh, Christmas tree, or crocheted. Knit, crocheted. You know, I can still not keep those two. Um, I think crochet. There we go. Uh, and that's it. There's no note. There's no explanation. 
But I did see Mishi 60, I think is what I, yes, covered up on the outside. Um, and it says on here, the uh, customs declaration says 1,000 hats and O. Uh, I don't know, maybe something went wrong in translation because there are definitely not 1,000 hats in here. And I don't know what and O would mean, but this is super cute. Let's see, is it catnip or is it to go on a Christmas tree, which would be so meta? Oh, it is a hat. Oh my goodness, that's why it says 1,000 hats. Well, I would not have realized. It's a cat hat that looks like a Christmas tree. It's got a little chin strap, and it's got ear holes, which is how I know it's for a cat and not for a tiny person. Uh, maybe a tiny person who has... Uh, oh, uh, the strap also ties together. Okay, that's cute. Let's see if you'll wear this since you're already wearing so much. She's like, I don't want any of your garbage on my head. You've already put enough on me. Oh, but look at that. What is she going to do about it, though? Nothing, and their ears fit right out the ear holes too. Wow, whoever made that, whoops, so now I've messed it all up. Whoever made that was very, very uh, perfect size there. I don't know what I was going for. What was I trying to say? If you know, um, I don't know, leave it in the comments. <laughs> anyway, I, you know, I know it's supposed to be a strap to tie it on, but it kind of looks cool just hanging down like that, doesn't it? It's very fancy. She is probably needing every minute of this right now, but she is such a trooper. Okay, that's too cute. Well, she can wear it for a minute. Uh, Mishi60, anyhow, thank you. That will go in our box of, uh, we got two boxes of cat costumes, actually. We have the regular box of cat costumes, and we have all the Christmas-specific cat costumes. So that can definitely go in the Christmas box, and it's very nice. Uh, thank you for that. And I love the fact that it's got a cute little star Christmas tree topper on it, too, just like BJ's tree. All right, uh, let's keep rolling here. This one uh, is, oh, this one is from Bob and Ruth. I can see that. So, uh, let's see what we got. Ooh, uh, clothing. I see clothing, but there's also a card in here. So let's start with that. Boy, these kids are very helpful with all the mailbag stuff, aren't they? Oh, it says, Hope you have a perfect birthday, and it's uh, cut out with the colors on the bottom layer. That's kind of cool, but I especially like the perfect. It's, uh, I don't know, something about the style. Oh, it's a pop-up card. It says, happy birthday inside, and, well, you kids, this will be something for the kids to just destroy. Happy birthday. Yeah, with cats on it, too. How perfect is that? Dear Mr. A, we wanted to send you this little card and wish you, oh, sorry, this little card to wish you a very happy birthday and many more. You work very hard caring for the kitties. We hope you take some time just for you on your birthday. Hope all your wishes come true. Happy birthday, Bob and Ruth. Well, Bob and Ruth, thank you so much. Uh, that is sweet. You know, it's hard for me to remember all the way back to Tuesday um, when it was my birthday. Uh, I remember we went to go vote, which was important, and after the voting, um, we went to the grocery store, and then after that, I can't remember what we did with the rest of the day. I think it involved a lot of cleaning, though, lots and lots of cleaning, which is good. That's, I find that relaxing. Uh, we've been having bad storms here. Uh, oh, oh, I see. They're just unplugging the light. I was afraid the power was going out again. It went out last night, I think I mentioned already. That's not what was happening, though. They were just unplugging the light again because it doesn't plug all the way in with these little safety sockets that we have, ironically. Um, so that's all. They just unplugged the lamp. We don't want it. All right. Bob and Ruth, uh, thank you for the birthday wishes, and thank you to everybody for the birthday wishes. I really appreciate it to just illustrate how much I haven't done yet. Uh, if I open my Discord, it shows that I have like 100 pending messages, which are all in the birthday wishes channel that I haven't even been over to look at yet. But just the, the number of them is uh, certainly touching, and I can always click on that and go through when I need a little pick-me-up, so I'm saving it for a, for a rainy day. It was rainy today. Uh, it's not now. Wow, the sun's really come out. Drying stuff up. Aw, I didn't even know you were up here in your basket. Did you guys see all five of them piled into the basket? I didn't think they were going to make it into that basket uh, before they left the room, maybe at all. But uh, all five of them were up there. So sweet. Anyway. Uh, let's see here. Ooh, sea salted caramel fudge. Oh my goodness, that looks so good. Sea salted caramel fudge, and I can see, uh, I can see salted caramel fudge. 
No, that wasn't good. Um, it's a it's a fudge. It's a chocolate fudge, but it looks like it's got like an even layer of caramel right through the middle of it. How? Mm, oh man, I am so hungry too. All right, even though I just ate breakfast, uh, it smells nice in there too. Your house must smell lovely. All right, let's see here. So it looks like we have matching shirts for uh, DJ and for Mr. A, and they are. Uh, look, I'm a human, dur dur dur. <laughs> That's so funny. Uh, it's a cat standing up and acting like a person. Look, I'm a human, but it's uh, it's, it's doubly funny on a T-shirt being worn by a human. Uh, it almost makes people think like, uh, okay, uh, if he's got to wear a shirt that says he's a human, maybe maybe he's not. Maybe there's something else going on, uh, which I like. I like that sort of mystery. Uh, so uh, it's fun that we'll get to provide that to people. And you sent the medium uh, for DJ and the large for me, which is smart. Uh, I do typically wear a large, but I think on an average day, DJ is wearing the large as like a night shirt, and I'm wearing the medium as sort of an everyday shirt. So we'll probably end up using these interchangeably, which we do quite a bit of, actually. Uh, so thank you so much for that. Um, uh, why do I feel like I did I miss something? No, I got it all. Okay, that was good. Thank you so much for those shirts. The caramel, the shirts, everything. Uh, Bob and Ruth, I really appreciate it. Uh, speaking of things I need to do, I need to get you guys, uh, I, need to, I need to send you a message. Uh, note to self, uh, try not to forget. Um, so, yeah, all right. Thank you so much for that stuff. It's wonderful. Okay, I'm gonna use your giant package here to kind of put this stuff into you now that the kids aren't quite playing with it. Every time they hit that cord now, it's gonna flash and spook me. It gave me a real spook. All right. Um, well, let's keep rolling. Whoop. Okay, what do we got here? Is this this is another Mishi 60 package. Uh, and I'm uh, missing my green stuff there knife. This should go back in the package before we get it. There we go. Another t-shirt, I think. What is it though? Oh, oh, I see. It's flying saucers. I want to believe it's flying saucers anyway. Uh, it's large. Good. That's going to fit very well. Uh, oh, <laughs> that's so cool. It's flying saucers and a very spooked looking kitty. That's combining a couple things in a fun way. I like it. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm definitely going to enjoy that. You guys know that um, I definitely like the sort of space uh, whole aliens thing, uh, just as a motif, of course. Uh, I don't necessarily believe that they're out there, but uh, I love that, uh, that, that uh, yeah, style, that, that uh, concept art. I, get. I don't know what I'm trying to say, but I do love it. Thank you so much. This uh, appears to be our monthly Catnip of the Month Club, which is uh, through Dr. Pussums, which is a, a local-ish uh, East Coast catnip. Wow, it's a good one. And... This has uh, mice in catnip and a giant pink kicker. Wow, Wicked Kicknip. Uh, up next month, Nip Nog Party Pack. Okay. Well, I'm almost tempted to give her the giant pink one, but she obviously does not feel like it right now. Do you, do you feel like it right now? You want that? Anyway, let's open it up a little like you sniff it. If not, maybe we'll give it to Maggie or somebody who really uh, could go for that. Oh, man, that is strong. Wow. At the very least, we can give them some of these little catnip mice. If she's not going to go for it because she's wearing the suit, uh, we'll give it to one of the faculty. They uh, they have wonderful catnip. The cats all like it. These kids are a little too young to appreciate catnip, but I don't just say that because I'm a prude who thinks that you know kittens shouldn't be around that kind of thing. Uh, but factually, kittens just don't don't tend to go for the catnip until they get a little bit older. I, I don't know if they just haven't developed that uh, sensibility yet or what. So uh, I don't think these kids are going to go for it. So we'll give this to some faculty. I'll put it right over here. I already put the mice in my pocket, and we will keep right on going. I don't. I assume that it was the uh, alumni or somebody that started that uh, cabinet of the month club for us. I don't know actually, uh, but thank you to whomever did. All right, we have another Mishi sixty. Uh, I'm really good at remembering that name now instead of saying uh, your real name, though. How about that? 
Oh, this one, it says it, though, right here. Another belated birthday gift. Hope you enjoy from, and you say, Michelle, who is me, she's 60. All right, there we go. Uh, and it feels like some kind of a book or a, oh, it's one of those. Ah, oh, oh, this is so cute. Uh, and this says, uh, coffee because murder is wrong. Uh, I actually, I actually have this very sign right next to my coffee maker. So now I can put it someplace else and then people will really know what I'm all about. So uh, I do appreciate it. It's a cute thing too. And DJ even likes it. This one looks different than the one that I have though. I don't know what happened. Maybe, maybe I don't have a real clear recollection of what mine looks like. It's definitely mine has the angry looking cat drinking a cup of coffee. It's the same color. It says coffee because murder's wrong. All those details are exactly the same as the one I have. But I never noticed that he's standing in front of a board that says things like, uh, happiness and smiles, a half cup, and all this kind of writing on it. And I definitely never noticed that he's got dragon tattoos on either arm. This cat is not just a cat, but uh, it's like a like a yak yak coots. Yeah, I got to try it here. Cat cute no yak cats. Uh, you know what? I can't make it work. It's, but he's like some sort of a uh, you know Japanese mafia guy or something uh, who actually could murder you. So I wonder, and now I'm going to have to go and look at the one that I have to see if those details are present or if somehow there's like different versions of this same sign that are super similar but not. That's uh, that's interesting. Wow, I really want to know. Okay. Um, thank you uh, for that. I love those metal signs, by the way, those retro metal signs. It's such a cool thing. Um, we've got a couple of them. The Permade one that I just packed up to deploy next time we have a, a, a like a nautical theme I've, I've put it with all the nautical themed stuff i know i would have sent it home with ocean when she was adopted but ocean is taking a very long flight and uh, so i'm trying to sort of uh minimize the, the extra things that i put in her endowments because uh she's got a, a long way to go and not so much space to uh to take everything with her um but uh but yeah those are those are great signs and this again uh, I, like i said i can put that one uh someplace else and and really make it clear to anybody who knows me that if i haven't got my coffee maybe i'll just put it next to the bed when dj tries to talk to me in the morning i can just hold up the sign uh that works for me actually <laughs> that might be a good idea really get the point across all right uh moving right along here uh, here we go Those kids are pushing that little red tunnel, that hearts tunnel, everywhere. Okay. Let's see what's next here. We have the recycled chewy box. The best kind of recycling is just taking something and using it again. It doesn't have to go to a recycling center, be broken down, and have all that extra energy put into it. So excellent recycling. Let's, ooh, I see some uh, Christmas pod, uh, Christmas pod, I think. It's nice, too. It's very pretty. And here's a fat note. Let's see what we got here. Oh, it's a pop-up card again. Treasures pop-up card. The note, okay to read on stream. Excuse me. Oh, it's so pretty. It's a bunch of cats singing and playing on a piano. There's usually a little tab, here it is, that I can use to make this stand up. They're very cute. Oh, joy. And the one cat's got a, a real ribbon on it and everything. Uh, the note, okay to read on stream. Perfect. Dear Mr. A and Dr. DJ, congratulations on the successful graduations of Ocean's Sailing Kits. I miss them so much, but I'm happy that they've all found wonderful forever homes. They were so fearless. <laughs> you guys, uh, Astro just had an epic story on our Discord. Uh, I won't, I won't be telling. But it's so nice to to have those the adopters on the Discord that share how things are going with us. Uh, it's been wonderful. So anyway, uh, I miss them so much, but I'm happy that they have all found wonderful forever homes. They were so fearless, <laughs> not just among themselves, but also with the older kittens and the adult cats. It was good to see Trinket and faculty have special playmates. Enclosed are some special Christmas treats for you and the cats. Enjoy and have a blessed season uh, from Dorothy A. on Discord. Dorothy A. on Discord. Thank you. So, yeah, you probably know all the stories of how Astro has uh, been in the soup, as they say, right? That's a phrase that means things have gone badly, but also literally true uh, in the soup. Uh, this isn't standing up quite the way I would like, is it? 
There we go. Let's try that one more time. Ah, I feel like good enough. The kittens are probably going to eat it anyway. Dorothy A, thank you so much. And what you have sent, let's see here, uh, some cardboard packing materials and inside the house. Oh my goodness. I don't know what these are yet. Oh wait, these are the chocolate oranges. I was just talking about these in last week's mailbag, wasn't I? How wonderful they are. So uh, you sent this beautiful Christmas tree pod bed. And uh, pod beds are a big hit all the time. You can never have too many cat pods. Um, so uh, that's going to be fun. And then inside the pod, even more fun, are Terry's chocolate oranges, which are delicious. And you sent three kinds. I didn't even know there were three kinds. There's the original chocolate orange. Uh, there's the dark chocolate orange. I believe I was vaguely aware of that. And an, a toffee chocolate orange, which I guess probably tastes like orange, but also has toffee bits in it. Wow, uh, that is spectacular. And I'm excited to eat all of those, which I will do, even though I really shouldn't ought to. Um, but uh, already I've been through so much of the birthday chocolate and candy and things that people have sent. Um, and it's wonderful. It's really yummy. I have no self-control. So anything that gets sent here, I eat it. Uh, and I've been I've been doing that <laughs> maybe a little too much. So uh, thank you for the Christmas pot. I don't know where to deploy this, but I would think I would like to put it uh, into our our bedroom next to the big Christmas tree. I think DJ will like that. Maybe she'll figure it out. Um, but custard's in there right now, and custard is loves a pod. He is a big fan of a pod. Uh, in fact, I almost always find him in a pod, and I just carry the pods uh, from place to place to take custard wherever he needs to be. So uh, all of the cats love the pods, though. I, think, I do think Custard's our biggest pod cat, no pun intended. Uh, I'm going to try to fit everything else in this tree, too, for a minute. That way everything can go out the same way, very simply, except not the endowments, just the stuff that's not endowments. There we go. Uh, Dorothy A., thank you so much. I hope if you are on Discord that you got a chance to read all of Astro's story as told by Astro's adopter. Uh, very cute. So, uh, all right, we're going to leave the, the pop-up cards out, though, for the, uh, for the kittens to continue to play with. All right, I think I cleared everything from my right-hand side, so now we're on to the left. What's left? <laughs> now we're going to do what's left. Okay, wow, I almost missed that fun. Uh, but I picked it up. How about that? All right, uh, this has a declaration right on the outside. The custom form says, chocolate bars and cookies. So I already know I'm going to love this. Uh, let's see what's going on. Does that sound sarcastic? I don't do sarcasm, though. I, I really don't. I'm not good at sarcasm. So that uh, no, was completely sincere. I actually am going to love this. Uh, let's see. The card. Okay to read on stream. Perfect. Exactly what we like. Wow, it got real quiet in here all of a sudden. What? It makes me suspicious when the kittens are making all kinds of noise and all of a sudden it's quiet. Well, who knows? Uh, here we have here we have two cats staring at an ice cream cone that is upside down on the ground, and uh, the one cat is saying "Say la vie." Uh, and inside it says, "Hi, Mr. A. This is a long delayed package. Ooh, I'm excited. I saw who sent it. Uh, this is a long delayed package because one, I'm very lazy, and two, the post office is my nemesis. I'm sorry it's taken so long to get it out to you anyway." Uh, please find and close some of the world's most well-traveled snacks and treats. That's right. These ones are the famous lost luggage edibles, which I was bringing to you at KACon. Some of these items will now cross the Atlantic three times. What a claim to fame. I did include some new treats in case the originals were too damaged. I don't think you'll have too much trouble telling the original items from the new ones. Some of that hard traveling wasn't too friendly. I hope you enjoy some of these. Feel free to share with DJ. Hi to all the KA Discord and KA fans and KA kittens and faculty. Best wishes. I ace I, I you know what? I still can't remember. Uh, I remember very clearly. Well, I can't say very clearly. I, I have a, a a memory of you teaching me exactly how to say your name at one of the early KA cons. I'm so glad you made it out to all of them. By the way, uh, some, I look forward to seeing you every year. Um, and I look forward to your gold stars in the uh, the food channel, of which I've won exactly one, I believe. Uh, anyway, 
I do remember when you took time out from your schedule to teach me how to say your name, and that's all that I remember, uh, not the part of actually how to say it. So um, sorry about that. I think it's for the Wheel of Time also. I remember that part for sure. Um, but uh, yeah, so that's on me. Um, I know you don't get too particular about those things, but I feel bad anyhow. So here we have buttermilk crumbly fudge mince pie fudge. Mince, mince pie fudge. Wow. Uh, interesting. Well, uh, fudge is good and the ingredients all sound pretty good. Uh, but mince, mince pie fudge sounds weird. Isn't, isn't, maybe I don't know enough about British things. I'm going to embarrass myself. I don't care. Isn't mince pie kind of like a meat, meat pie thing or kind of a meat pie anyway of some kind? What is mince pie? Now I need to look it up. Uh, crumbly fudge, caramel sea salt. Now that's one that makes a little bit more sense to me. We have uh, the tea cakes. These are wonderful. Some of these I'm familiar with now from previous years. Uh, was never familiar with any of this stuff prior to Kitten Academy and people uh, sending me these things who are very familiar with them. But these I've had, and I always compare these to uh, here in the United States. We have a, something called a pinwheel cookie, which is uh, like a like a cookie. Um, that has a giant marshmallow on top, and then the whole thing is dipped in char chocolate, which is precisely what a tea cake is, except the, uh, the American ones, of course, are much bigger and shaped kind of like a donut. Uh, they're called pinwheels because they have a little pinwheel shape to them, too, but they're a toroidal uh, overall, at least in their fundamental topology, uh, would reduce to a toroid. Uh, wow, that was some math talking. Uh, so, yeah, anyway, I know those are delicious. They're wonderful. Speaking of delicious, uh, we have a, another Terry's Chocolate Orange. This one has been well-traveled and taped back together. Cool. Uh, and uh, so much that it's just, it wants to continue to destroy itself. I'm really looking forward to that. I'm really looking forward to these. I know I've said a few times how much I love uh, Jaffa Cakes, which are, again, kind of like a, like a cookie, more like a cakey, like a cake kind of a thing. Uh, that has a bit of like an orange jelly on it, and then also the whole thing uh, dipped in some chocolate again, which is, oh, they're so good. Uh, you also sent mm, dark chocolate, milk chocolate, and caramel sea salt milk chocolate, all from Kernow. Kernow? Uh, I'm sure that there's some weird uh, Brit like pronunciation of that word that I'm just never going to guess because it's impossible. Uh, how do you guys sound things out when you're in grade school? Uh, how do we do it either? I don't know. Why am I pointing fingers? English as a language is just ridiculous. doesn't matter which one you're speaking. Uh, here we have Tunix uh, dark chocolate coated caramel wafer biscuits. Now, we've had the caramel wafer biscuits many times, but I think this might be the first time we've seen the dark chocolate version. And I see something else you included. This must have come straight out of our conversation online. Now, this is the thing I am definitely most excited about right now because we talked a long time about the, the flying saucers. Uh, I started a conversation on Discord about the worst candy ever made uh, and what, what we, each of us thought maybe was poss possibly some of the worst candy uh, because of Halloween. Uh, the stuff you get at Halloween that was just awful. Uh, and I brought these up, flying saucers, which I think everybody's probably familiar with. We've got an outside that's made of like a, like a cornstarch or something, rice paper, I think. Maybe it's a rice starch um, that's shaped vaguely like a flying saucer, which is called why they're called flying saucers. In fact, I read all this online afterwards about how the flying saucers were actually a, a started when a guy who made communion wafers had to repurpose his machinery figured out that he could make something like this out of it, I, I guess, something like that. So I don't, don't trust me on any of that stuff. But I also found out something else. The uh, American style flying saucers that we got when I was a kid were awful. They were this terrible cardboard kind of paper shaped just like this and filled with like sprinkles, uh, which sprinkles are also awful. I'm sorry, if you like sprinkles on your ice cream, uh, God bless you. If you like them in your cake, great uh but i think they're just awful they're, i mean not awful i just i never would go out of my way to have one they're just except for the the color they bring 
beautiful color. They look great. Uh, they just taste like nothing. They're, they're, they're awful. So the flying saucers that we had as kids were filled with those sprinkles, and it was like two pieces of awful stuck together in an awful way. They were, they were terrible. And I was talking about how possibly in contention for one of the worst candies of all times, but then I was looking it up online, and I discovered that overseas the flying saucers are filled with uh, I guess like a citric acid powder, kind of like a like lickum sticks or pixie sticks or something here in the states would have in them, uh, and that to me sounds awesome. That sounds like these things could be redeeming uh, and wonderful. So I see these are the, the sort of English version. It says sherbet uh, filled sherbet filled wafers. That's what they call it apparently, and I, I just I'm gonna have to find out whether it is in fact like a pixie stick or if it is something else like a pixie stick where you can eat the whole thing. That would be cool. Uh, always ended up eating a fair amount of that paper. Um, so yeah, thank you for sending those. Thank you for sending all of it though. Uh, what a, what a, uh, it, it has been through an amazing journey, but I promise you the buck stops here uh, in true American fashion. I will be sure to eat all of this. Uh, TJ might get a chance at some of it if she's fast enough, but uh, she's really gonna have to hustle. So uh, ice, ice and I, uh, I'm just going to go with that. Thank you so much uh, for uh, continuing to wreck my diet in, uh, in this very direct way. And this is a lot of stuff to wreck it that I love. So I'm going to see how much of that I can fit right in here. Uh, I am so excited to try this wine sausage, but I did have breakfast this morning. And uh, it's better if I wait uh, anyway, because then if I start now, I'll just I'll eat this stuff literally all day long. Because once you sort of get started on it, you just, I, at least for me, I can't stop. Um, so if I find that if I can wait until at least late in the day, then uh, I don't have as much time to cram myself full of all these things I shouldn't ought to eat anyway. So uh, thank you, though. It's, it's wonderful. And I'm so glad I get to try the flying saucers. I, I know I, we had that conversation. I pretty much put it right behind me. I didn't expect to ever get to try the good kind of flying saucer. But here we are. So uh, thank you for that. I say the good kind generously, uh, you know, in, in assumption that it will turn out to be good. Uh, I'm pretty sure it will be, though. All right, uh, let me have a little sip of coffee. Mm. That is the thing. You want some mayhem? I, oh, that made a cool sound. Hi, mayhem, right here looking at me and my coffee. All right. Well, let's see what's next here. We got three boxes left. This one, oh, this is so, so fun. When I saw this in the mail today, uh, I happened to be wearing my mural shirt just by coincidence, and this has the exact, is it the exact same? Well, it's not the exact same art because this is the original photo or an original photo of mural being mural here on the corner. And it says mural, and it's a package from mural to the cahoots, that's you guys, or to cahoots, your mom. I don't know, it's a little ambiguous, isn't it? Probably to your mom. So let's find out. Okay. Wow, look at that. It is. It's very mural. It's building up in the inside with a mural saying hello and a bunch of really cute stickers all the way around. Look at that. I guess you can probably see it from the top camera, but there we go, just to be safe. Hello. I miss little murals so much. Uh, one of my favorite mom cats, along with, I guess, to be fair, all the mom cats. Although, I think, even for me now, uh, DJ has just been insisting on this for such a long time uh, that now I think I think Scooty really has to take the top spot uh, in the end. Um, sorry, Tempest and Teacup. Uh, my love for you is eternal, but that top spot is, uh, you know, it's a competition, isn't it? So, let's see what we have here from Mural. Uh, we've got <laughs> OK to read on screen. We've got the Altamont Enterprise and Albany County Post from November the 3rd. Ooh, and there's a, um, I see some a Scottish person playing the bagpipes. Uh, something about a fair. Uh, beautiful. I love reading local papers. I know I've said this so many times. And we have the spotlight. Ooh, OK. Uh, let's see here. OK to read on stream. Hi, Cahoots. It's me, Mural. Where are you, Cahoots? Oh, you're up in the basket again. Aw, what a cute thing. I'm going to take a photo because if I start the camera, that's going to mess things up. But I can still take a picture. Take a picture. It'll last longer. 
Are you both of you looking the way you were a second ago, though? Now it's not. It's not as cute. Be cute again. Start start being cute. That'll do. Okay, that's good enough. That's cute enough. Uh, do we have a camera? Can you see the basket right now? Because if not, we need to switch that over. Okay, here we go. How cute is that? Uh, okay. Hi, Cahoots. It's me, Nero. Uh, I was a mom cat at KA2. Not only do we have that in common, we also both gave birth in September. Wow, has it been that long? Uh, how cool is that? I just wanted to let you know you are a fantastic mom cat. You let Mr. A and Dr. DJ know right away you wanted the babies moved to a more secure location. Your bathing skills are extraordinary and your babies are growing up healthy and strong. You should feel very proud. Now the time will come when you all are ready to leave KA. Don't you worry one bit. Dawes will work with Mr. A and they will find the perfect forever homes with families that will love you. Or that will love you so much. Trust me. I would not lie to you. I'm still talking to the basket, even though uh, she's no longer in it. Okay. Uh, oh, she moved over to the Infinity Scratcher. I'm still talking in the right direction. Okay. Uh, <laughs> where were we? Uh, on that day, you leave KA to start your new lives. I've enclosed a little something for each of you, uh, for each of you to bring home. I hope it helps you to feel at home with your new families. I've also enclosed something for Mr. A and Dr. DJ. Please make sure they get it. It's nothing fancy. I wish you and your babies happy tales and give you a much love, Spoogles mural. P.S. I also want to say hello to everyone on Discord since I cannot personally Spoogle. Uh, and you all, I thought the next best thing is to help you get enough squares to get bingo. I sure hope it worked. Love you all. You. Oh, that's sweet. I wondered why the word fancy was in there, uh, but now I guess I know. All right, Mural, thank you so much in advance uh, for the papers. They're wonderful. And uh, let's see what else is. Oh, you've got individual bags for all the kittens. Oh, my goodness. That's so sweet. Ooh, that's noisy. Okay. I guess I know. These kids are... These kids are still a little sensitive to noise. We're working on it with the spa time and we try to make some noises. But they still get spooked a little bit more than I think they ought to. Uh, anyway, look at this. We have uh, these nice uh, burlap sort of bags uh, or canvas. I guess it's more like canvas than burlap. Somewhere in between, perhaps. To bamboozle from Mural. Well, I imagine they're all the same, so let's take a little peek here. Oh, this is a cool wand. It's got one of the little, um, so it's a wand. It's got, it's got a string that attaches to the toy, as you would expect. But then the toy itself is a dragonfly made out of one of the worms that uh, Logan loves, plus a pair of really big googly eyes and uh, some gossamer wings. That's going to be a really, really fun toy uh, for the 10 seconds it survives the kitten's onslaught. Uh, here we have another wand. This one's got like a tinsel on it. That's very pretty. We have a, I can see it, one of the good uh, metal door hanging toys. I uh, can't tell what the toy is. Looks like a, an assortment, actually. A whole bunch of different toys that you can hang from a door uh, for the kittens to play with. We have a, a pink feather mouse. We've got a handful of other mice in here. We have a weird uh, flying saucer jingly ball. Let's see here. Uh, a bunch of the, the sort of classic cat toys. Here. This is our pack. Oh my goodness. All right. Yeah, I'm dumping this in my lap so it can all get back in there correctly. Uh, oh, we got one of the metal balls with a mouse in it. Uh, we got springs. We have whatever you call this thing. And we've got, uh, I see plenty of other mice and balls. And this, look at this. It's a, it's a, it's a wrapped ball of yarn that's unraveling. It's got like a, a rattly, jingly ball inside of it. That's going to be a real fun one with that long tail on it. So this is a great bunch of toys. And uh, you have sent and labeled one of these for each and every one of the kittens. So like I said, uh, this one is labeled as Two Bamboozle from Mural. And hi! Yeah, well, you didn't get that very well, did you? Keep trying, though. This one's to Flim Flam, also. This one is to Cahoots. They're so cute. Uh, to Hogwash. To Mayhem. And to Hoodwink. All right, I'm just going to put those right back in here. That's great for endowments. 
And that means I can add these endowments to it. There we go. And uh, don't forget to put this one back in the box. I love it. Those little baskets, the little uh, bags are so cute. They're just adorable. The whole thing is adorable. Oh, sweet little mural. Their silly little smile. I just love it. Um, so, you also included this purple bag, which says, To Mr. A and Dr. DJ for mural. So, this is the one we're going to take a better look at. Oh, okay. I didn't expect it to come apart quite like that, though. Uh, that's fine. It is what it is. So, we have some Biscoff. Oh, it's got a little heart drawn on it. Oh, with a whisker. It's a mural whisker. I see that on the Biscoff. That's super cute. It's a whisk off. <laughs> it's a whisk. It's a whisk off. It's got a whisker on it. Okay, uh, we've got ooh turtles, except not turtles. One of them has oh, they have all kinds of nuts. They each have cashews. No, yes, I see cashews and almonds and pecans in both. So it's like a nut, a bunch of and peanuts. It's a bunch of different kinds of nuts with caramel and chocolate on top. Those are so yummy. Oh my goodness, extra fancy. Oh, another weakness of mine. So those are going to be fantastic. Weakness of mine. These are chocolate covered Oreos, dark chocolate and milk chocolate. Uh, that is again something that people have known for a long time. Is uh, I eat way too many of those. And then strip waffles, the same story. I eat way too many of those. This is all stuff that I already eat way too many of. And look at this. It appears to be a mural sticker of my very own. That has to be put someplace special so that it makes it into my sticker collection uh, without getting this. It is perfect. Oh, it's a couple of them. Oh, a couple of them. Perfect. Uh, I'm actually going to hide them in my phone. Uh, that way I can find them, or if I don't find them right away, at least I know they won't go anywhere. They shouldn't ought to go. And when I do find them, it'll be special all over again. So there we go. Hit those right away. Uh, okay. That way uh, they don't get lost. For sure they won't get lost. And later on, when I'm like, oh, remember those stickers? Where did those go? Somebody could be like, check inside your phone case. And I'll be like, how did you know? It's magic. Uh, so there we go. I'll put all the treats in this box. Wow. Uh, I've already eaten so much candy and chocolate this week, being my birthday week. Uh, and it looks like we're just set to carry that right on. Oh, hey, look what I just found. <laughs> Here's the spatula. It fell under my lap, and I found it just now. So I knew it would turn up eventually. Wow, we'll make a good shoehorn too in an emergency, so we're all set. Uh, that's a nice, that's a nice little uh, plastic spatula. So many uses for something like that. Thank you. All right, and I also see. Whoop, we missed one of these. They're playing with the packaging. So let's make sure that gets into here where it belongs. Okay. Wow. All right, everything's coming together now. Let's put that out of the way a little bit. We got two more boxes to look at. I guess we're going to save the big one for last. Um, oh, this is another Mishi 60. Perfect. Uh, which way can I turn this? All right, let's try that. Yeah, whatever. We're doing our best. Oh, I thought they was getting in the box. It's so far, just in between. But probably won't be long. All right. Oh, look at that. We have a box in a box. Oh, we got those uh, packing peanuts. Let's see. Well, okay, a plain box in a box. But there's some other things in here, too. There are, wow, what are these? Chocolate sardines. That's such a cool box that these are in. Uh, and they're so shiny. Little chocolate sardines. Simon Call, Cole, milk chocolate sardines. Those are super cool. I just, I love how shiny they are. Uh, and then we have a pocket latte ready to eat coffee. Speaking of which, I tried the little coffee uh, bean candies that came in last week's mailbag, and they are just coffee, like little tiny coffee things. They're so good. Uh, so this one says it's got four stars out of five in caffeine and one star out of five in sweetness, so it's going to be very coffee. This square is equivalent to one strong coffee. No artificial sweetness, flavors, preservatives, caffeine, or colors. It's just really a coffee bar. Wow. And the top three ingredients are sugar, cocoa butter, and coffee. Uh, wow, that's going to be something exciting to try. Uh, this is some fun candy. I did not expect that to be what was in here. Uh, oh, wow. We've got Archie McPhee mints. Uh, and the, on the front, it's got a cat in an astronaut suit standing on the moon. 
How cool is that? Why do I know the name Archie McPhee? Uh, it's ringing a bell, uh, but not enough for me to place it. Um, why do I think Archie McPhee is like a novelty store? Is that what it is? Am I crazy? I mean, don't answer that. Uh, all right, let's keep moving. I'm going to bring this thing down, uh, grind it to a halt because I can't remember. Uh, okay, this one is an instant. Oh, sprinkles too. All right, good thing we were just talking about that. Uh, double chocolate cake, instant cake, everything you need to make a cake in minutes. There's a little uh, baking container of measuring for your water, mixing spoon, sprinkles, cake mix, cake topper, frosting, and a candle. Uh, and you just make it in the microwave in 60 seconds. So it's basically like a mug cake, except it comes in a little cake tin. And uh, it comes with sprinkles and frosting uh, right there and the spoon and everything. That's the cutest idea. And I know I was just denigrating sprinkles. Uh, but like I said, they're fine if you like it in a cake or on ice cream or something. Uh, but not when they're basically packed in cardboard that you eat. Then they're not okay, all right? I just I want to be real clear on that. Uh, so anyway... <laughs> Uh, so there's one last box in here. Hang on. Uh, this is heavy. Oh, I see. It says a candle for cat. All right. Well, let's see what that means. Uh, that candle last week, by the way, smells great. Uh, the one that came in that was like this when your cat farts. It's funny and it smells really good. Uh, this one is cat people smells like purring and a fresh hairball under your bare foot. Wow. Does it smell like that? I guess it kind of does. I mean, it doesn't smell like the bad parts of that. It smells like maybe what you would get if you cut out the bad parts of that and had what was left over, right? It's vaguely reminiscent of something. Oh, warm milk scent. It's from Whiskey River Soap Company. It says a candle for cat people. Uh, check, my cat has an Instagram. Check, lint rollers in the car. Check, dog people suck. Well, I can't necessarily get behind that last one, but the other two are actually true. Um, well, uh, you know, my cat does have an Instagram, ooh, which I haven't thought about in a while. I guess there's nothing going on over there. Uh, check lint rollers in the car, yes, and uh, check dog people suck. Well, all right, whatever. Oh, smells good. All right. Uh, thank you so much. Um, uh, this was a Mishi 60 package, I believe. So, yes, thank you so much, Mishi 60, once again. Uh, for sending some fun stuff for me. Those are all very cute. The sardines are, are sparkly. The, the coffee is something I'm excited to try. The Archie McPhee uh, astronaut cat mix. Wonderful little tiny tin that is a tiny tin. Um, is a, it's actually probably just the right size after I'm done with it to put a um, like a raspberry pie, uh, the small ones, the nano into or one of those uh, something. It'll make a fun little project case. And then this cake will be, it's a double chocolate cake. I mean, it's going to be great. I'm still going through, believe it or not, the lifetime supply of mug cakes that was sent by Dragon Lady uh, back in the day. I've still got a few of them left, and I still pull them out on a regular basis and have one. So I definitely do like instant cakes just as much as real cakes. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, last box. Let's find out what we got here. It's a big one, too. So uh, buckle in, everybody. Let's see what we got. Let's see, all this FedEx tape, too. That's why I covered something up. Is it a name that gives anything away to me? Oh, I think it is. I think we know who this is, but I don't want to out anybody's uh, real name, so let's wait and make sure. How do we open this thing? Oh, I think we even know what this is, don't we? Uh, we might, anyway. Let's find out. Uh, I think I remember this person telling me that there was something pending. Uh, from what they had said previously, he says, trying to point a thumb over his shoulder without doing that at all. Uh, indeed, it appears to be a package in a package, which would make sense if it had gone awry in shipping and been repacked. Let's see if that is the case. Oh. This is going to be the easiest way to get this out. Okay. All right, here we go. Wow, that's a great box for kittens to play in, though, isn't it? And it's got uh, packing paper in it. We can put the rest of the packing paper in it, and maybe they can have a little fun in there. Uh, for now, ah, that's the best I can do to get it out of the way. Uh, now, let's see. I don't want there to, to be any open this end, notes on this end. 
Good. Okay, that's all it says. Okay, so maybe nothing went awry. Uh, but I do like knowing which end to open because as fancy and wonderful as it is to cover these things in the in the paper, which I love. Uh, I don't know why I love that so much. Something my grandma used to do to send me presents when I was a little little tiny boy, maybe. I don't know. Um, but uh, it does make it difficult to tell which side to open. So this is some very clearly marked packaging. I like that. I like the, the lack of ambiguity is nice. Here we go. Good. We got a knife guard. We got everything going on here. We got notes. All right. Let's see what's going on. Note number one. Note number two. Uh, both okay to read on stream. Perfect. Oh, this is a wonderful photograph of a kitten just uh, sleeping, uh, passed out sleeping. Uh, here's the picture for all the photo. And we've already got somebody in the FedEx box. Hello, Mr. A, Dr. DJ, and esteemed faculty. Just a note to let you know how much I've enjoyed being a part of the KA community for the last year, year or so. Surely it's been longer than that. Uh, it constantly amazes me how much work you do, Mr. A, and Dr. DJ. One of the most compassionate humans on the planet, you do so much for both the feline guests and residents as you do for your human patients who tend day in and day out. I'm excited to let you know about a friend I've referred to KA. She has also include, enclosed a letter with her arrival at your academy. Please read her letter of introduction as you open her traveling compartment and reveal the wonderful addition to your academy if you permit. I hope you like her and consider her request Thank you, Mr. A and Dr. DJ, for all you do. From Terry, who is Terror Bear 652021 on Discord. Uh, Terror Bear, thank you. All right, well, that's all very mysterious, though, isn't it? Uh, let's find out what all of that could possibly mean. We have note number two. We have uh, an item here that actually looks kind of familiar in a way. I think I know what it is. Um, and so let's find out here what's going on. Um, it says, Hello, Mr. A, Dr. DJ, and KA faculty. Hello there. My name is Sierra Triceratops. <laughs> I have heard so much about your wonderful Kitten Academy. I wanted to come and offer my services guest lecturing if possible. So, okay. So first off, uh, you guys remember the elephant uh, chair that we have, the elephant. It's a, I, it, we have it. We still have it, by the way. It is. Oh, look at this little traveling box. So cute. Uh, and uh, some churu, too. Ooh, chicken variety churu. Well, I'm just going to tuck that right in here for you know who was uh, asleep right now. I'm kind of asleep. I think she knows what all that noise is, though. There we go. So this is uh, like the elephant. Uh, that we have, except uh, now we've got a matched set, and this one is a triceratops. Supposedly, I would imagine it's a triceratops, otherwise that name is really weird. There we go. So it is. Uh, the legs come uh, separately. They're in this little box that just fell out, so there won't be any legs on her yet, but we can fix that. Uh, that's what we do. You know, we repair these things. Uh, and uh, just, oh, oh, look at that. Wow, stuff full of treats. Okay, let's read the rest of the note while we're looking at this thing. This is so cool. It's going to look perfect uh, along with the elephant. I was kind of thinking about doing like a cow and animal theme this could almost fit into. I don't see why not. Um, but that is still under consideration, so we'll see. Uh, it says, now, uh, while I may look a little scary, I'm very gentle and enjoy a good snooze just like your students and faculty. I've even packed some gifts for all to enjoy um, cat, at your discretion, of course. Check out my lounge area as well as my travel compartment for the goodies I brought with me. I love the little traveling uh, compartment, too. This is nice. It's covered in like a leather or a faux leather with the stitching and everything. It is a perfect uh, steamer trunk, right? That's what you might call that if you were me and called it that. Uh, so, wow, you did stuff it full of stuff, too. We've got the Sheba tender sticks. We have these tuna fillets. Uh, somebody else is a big fan. Well, she loves all food, though. I've never seen her be picky about eating anything. Uh, she hasn't really started to get up on the counter yet, but she is way more aggressive than uh, Oshi as far as getting food. So hopefully she doesn't figure out the counter, because if she does, it's all over. Um, you say... Uh, Let's see. Hopefully there will be something to be enjoyed or used by many current and future attendees. 
Well, I do take up a little space. I don't eat much. And as an herbivore, I can help with lawn maintenance as well. Ooh, look at all these feathers to go on the end of a lawn. Um, I hope I can stay for a while and get to know Kustaru, Eddie, Ari, all the tenured professors, and even some of the tinies and their mentor moms. Uh, enjoy. I look forward to teaching my first class, Extended Lounging 101, from Miss C. Triceratops, PhD, Behavioral Sciences, uh, CAT slash KTN slash DNSR. Uh, I'm not even going to try to guess what all of these mean. Uh, but look at this. We've got some real classics here. We've got the, the uh, mice, the, uh, the mice that, that uh, could be flattened by someone like Mural. Uh, we've got these, ooh, uh, these um, uh, receiving blankets that are also packing something inside them. <gasps> Cranberry rhubarb jam. Oh my goodness, so it looks a little liquidy, but hopefully a little bit of refrigeration will uh, bring that right back into a jammy uh, cranberry orange marmalade. Oh my goodness, I'm a fan of uh, like I like the really I like my jams and uh, preserves to be like real um, this sour. Like I like the the ones that aren't too sweet but more sour and stuff like strawberry rhubarb or. Um, uh, what was I saying? Cranberry is always something that indicates that. Uh, and uh, this is another cranberry rhubarb. Wow, bringing those together. I don't think I've ever had anything as cranberry rhubarb. So I'm excited for all of those. Uh, plus, these receiving blankets are so cute. This one has a tiny bear riding a big bear. Oh, and some foxes. And I see uh, raccoons. And I see the Pacific Northwest. And I see some more uh, meaty treat sticks. So this Triceratops is adorable, and there's a couple of extra tunas that fell out in here. Wow, this is a lot of tuna fillets and things. The kids are going to love these. This kid, this thing is so cute. It is so cute. It is uh, very, it's going to look like a perfect companion to the elephant. Uh, and it's got this, it's got the collar. It's got the three little horns, just like you would expect. It's got this wide open mouth. Uh, and it looks really happy, actually. It looks like he's smiling. He's very happy for a dinosaur that hasn't even got his legs on. Uh, maybe a little happier than he ought to be. And then, of course, the space on the inside to fill the treats and or kittens. So that's also an absolutely wonderful. Tear Bear, uh, thank you so much. I don't know how to thank you enough for that. I'm going to put him back in here until we figure out exactly where he needs to be. But I'm, I'm super excited. And then these, of course, would be the legs. They've got to stay with him. Uh, her, uh, her, I think, right? We're going with her for that. We're going to leave the note with her too. Sierra sounds like a her name to me. Ms. C. Triceratops. All right, that's the only clue we need. I think Terra Bear also said her, so we're going to put that note inside so it doesn't get lost for now. Um, that is wonderful. Oh, and we didn't open this box yet. Ooh, uh, Churu Bites, and lots of little Churu Bites. It's all, it's stuffed, chock full of Churu Bites. Uh, the Churu Bites, of course, are like, um, uh, all right, Churu is Gogurt for cats. Churu Bites are combos for cats. You ever have combos? They're like the like a pretzel that's filled with cheese uh, and then made into a sort of bite size. Uh, it's just like that. It's got kind of a solid outside with kind of a churu inside um, and uh, just a little less messy than the churu themselves. And I haven't seen them packaged, I don't think, quite like this individually. Um, so that's that's also super convenient. And this little travel case is stuffed full of them. And for now, I'm going to take treats, all of them, and put them in this uh, thing right behind me. And uh, you... Well, you want to try some chewy bites, sweetie? We'll, we'll start with those just to see if they're fun for you. Um, so we're going to open one of those right away. And then uh, I'm going to get all this stuff out of here and call it a mailbag. See if uh, uh, what we're going to do about getting the phone in here for DJ or maybe, maybe this time she'll let me give her my phone and upgrade mine. Oh, wouldn't that be fun? Um, she did already suggest that. But are you going to try that? Of course you do. Oh man, that's got a strong scent. Uh, let's see if uh, one of the kittens wants to try one too. Hang on, hang on. Oh, okay, mom's gonna pull it out there. Mayhem, somebody who wants one of these? Come on, you can't let your mom have, maybe you can't let your mom have all these. 
By the way, uh, we're talking about her poops. They're still not great, but I think we've learned that one of the big secrets, I, I still believe it's stress related. Um, and one of the big secrets, of course, is to limit how much she can eat. Uh, we haven't had any really bad disasters since we've started keeping her out of here when the kids are eating and uh, and making sure that she doesn't eat too much on her own, which is one reason why we probably shouldn't let her eat this entire tube with true root bites. But I do see mayhem. Are you sniffing around? Do you want to try one of these since you're up and everybody else is kind of taking a nap? I know that's a big treat for somebody like you who's still very tiny. What? Oh, oh, it fell. Where did it even go? They kind of roll away. Here. Oh, oh, no, I dropped it. Okay. Now, hang on, Mom. You'll get a turn, but I want to see if little may uh, mayhem is going to figure it out or not. <laughs> They've all learned to kind of eat uh, crunchy treats uh, from me now. And this is a little different, and I, I guess Mayhem's not as sure about trying new foods as Mom is. That's all right. That's all right. I think that was kind of our experience last time we did Churu Bites, too, was that some of the kittens were just like, I don't know, it's not my thing. Everything's your thing. Yes, we know everything is your thing. If you can eat it, it's for you. Believe me, I'm the same way. I'm putting those in my pocket to share the rest of that pack with some of the faculty, or maybe with Oshi, who's also like, anything that I can eat, I will eat. Um, all right. Hey, uh, Terry Mary, thank you so much. This guy is super girl. This girl is super cool. And uh, so is everything else that you said. It's wonderful. I'm really excited about every single thing today. Uh, thanks. Thanks to everybody for the birthday wishes and all the birthday candy and stuff. I know uh, I'm like, oh, man, that's the last thing my diet needs. And that's true. It is the last thing my diet needs. But that doesn't mean I don't enjoy it. I very much do. So there you have it. All right, uh, I'm gonna get all the stuff packed up and put away, and then uh, I will say that's the end of the mailbag archive, and then I don't know what I'm gonna do. Hopefully I can get around to mopping the floor today and get these kids moved, uh, if not tomorrow for sure, when I get up and still have all the energy to get stuff done first thing in the morning. That is that is the productive time for me. So uh, tomorrow, absolutely, if not today, uh, still hopefully today though. So, all right, uh, let's trip up and at, at them. Oh, oh, there we go. Oh, oh, creaky. All right. There we go. All right. It's tight quarters in here, kids, but you have no idea how much room you've got downstairs just waiting for you. Just waiting. So much space. Oh, my gosh. It's like the wild frontier down there. No, 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 you can't just run out the door yet. I mean, I, I'd like you to go out there, but I've got to keep an eye on you when you do, so you got to wait. All right, because we're going to pick this up because there's just too much happening in here for you right now. Now we can put all this in a giant bag box. How convenient. The box in the box pays off. Triceratops over to my office because that's where the elephant is. They can introduce each other, introduce themselves to each other, and then we'll figure out where they're going to stay.
keep this card, but the pop-up cards I think you guys can have to play with, all right? Okay. Is this any candy in the package for this? Sign up. Yeah, looks like I got it. Is this good? This stuff can all head straight for my snack pile. Oh, yeah. Hang on, hang on. We're going to let you go out and run around, actually, I think. Oh, so at least we go downstairs in the fridge, since that's where I'm headed next. No, we'll just put it in here, because that's where next. Two. Oh, no, the true bites. No, we can't. Oh, hang on. All right, wow, there's a lot of treats in there. Now. I'm going to have to start going through some of those treats with you, kiddo. It's fine to figure out your cooks fully before we do that, though. Okay. Here's a little something you kids. Wow, you made a wreck of that happy birthday card already, didn't you? Nice work, though. These in here. Let me wheel this out, wheel that out, and then we'll see about any mailbag. That was just some wordplay there. <laughs> I want you out there, but I gotta keep an eye on you. All right, well, uh, thanks everybody. I gotta follow mom. If Loganberry don't start trouble. Loganberry, it's okay. It's okay, you don't have to hiss at her. So yeah, she's actually much easier to manage with the suit on, which is nice for the moment. Logan hissed at her a little bit and she walked away, which is what she would have done anyhow, but probably with a, a lot more like speed that could have set somebody off. So hang on now. Here's lunch for you. No, Mom didn't get you anything today, did she? She's all covered up with that suit. All right, so there's lunch. I just promised your mom that she could have lunch too, so I gotta go get that for her. Sort some of these things out just a little bit. There we go. We just kind of cramped quarters up here with all your toys and things, though. Gotta get you moved downstairs just so you got the space to play. Oh, let's plug that lamp back. There we go. All right. Good? 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 All right. Well, hey, look, uh, I'm going to call it the end, although I've got to go wash off my fingers before I can actually end the archive, so I'll do that out there. Uh, thanks again to everybody for everything, for the kittens, especially on behalf of the kittens. Um, it's all, it's, it's wonderful. I, I, I have no words this week, um, but I certainly have lots of emotions. Thank you so much for that. Uh, all right. Um, I got to wash this stuff off my hands. <laughs>